Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at how to put speech marks around values without having to type them in manually. We'll look at two different ways, one using custom number formatting and the other using a concatenation formula. So let's start with these text values. I want to custom number format them so they appear with speech marks, just like they do here. So I'll start by selecting the cells and then to go to the Format Cells dialog box, you can either right click Format Cells or I tend to use the shortcut key Control 1. Now what I need to do in this category list is go down to Custom and in this type box, I'm going to type the following. I'm going to use a backslash character and whatever follows the backslash character is literally printed in the cell. And I'm going to put an at symbol in for the text value. And then I'm going to put in another backslash character and another speech mark. And you can see up here in the sample box that it's put the speech mark on either side of the text value. If I click on OK, you can see that it does exactly that. Now with these numeric values, the solution is slightly different. Again, I go down to custom in the type box. What I want to do is start with one of these existing numeric formats. So if you want decimal places, etc., then choose the correct format from one of these options down here. Now I'm just going to choose the zero. That suffices for what we're doing. And I use the same characters, a backslash followed by a speech mark. And then after the zero or whatever format you've chosen down here, another backslash followed by a speech mark. Click on OK. Now for dates, again, slightly different. Back into Format Cells, go to Custom. You want to choose the date format that you want to use. So I'm OK with this one, day, month, and year. And it's the same process again. Backslash, speech mark. Another backslash and a speech mark. Look in the sample box. You can see it's worked. The salary, back into Format Cells. If I chose a currency format that I quite liked, for example, this one here, now let's go for this one. You can see that negative figures are formatted in red. So I use the same character, so I'll say backslash speech mark. Now, where we have a format for positive and negative values, you can see we have a semicolon. So everything to the left of the semicolon is for positive values. You'll see at the moment that I only have one speech mark at the beginning there. If I just put a speech mark at the end there, I don't get anything at the end of this value here. That's because this is a positive value. So what I need to do is before that semicolon, put my other speech mark in. So backslash speech mark, and you see it appears there. I'll also need a speech mark at the beginning of this negative value. So after the word red, I'll do my backslash speech mark. If I click on OK, just put in a minus value. And you can see it appears in red with speech marks on either side. Now, although we can't have one custom format that gives a solution for all of these columns, I can create a custom format that will work for text values and normal numeric values, those that are not formatted as currency, for example. So let's go to this sheet. And what I'm going to do is select both cells, control one, go to custom, and in the type box, I'll start with my backslash speech mark, and I'm going to put in a zero for my positive numeric format. And I need a speech mark at the end. Then I'm going to put my semicolon in. And I'm going to say for negative values, I want them to appear in red. So I put red in square brackets. And then I specify a speech mark at the beginning of the number. And then the number is minus zero. That's the placeholder for whatever value is in the cell. Then I need another speech mark, backslash speech mark. So I've got my format for the positive values here. And then the format for the negative values here. If I put another semicolon in, I can then specify a format for zero values. I want zero values to appear 
as a dash with speech marks on either side. So I've got backslash speech mark dash backslash speech mark. Then I put another semicolon in and I can specify the format for text values. So for that, I'm going to say backslash speech mark at backslash speech mark. I can see now in the sample box that I now have speech marks around text values. So if I click on OK, I've got speech marks around my text values and my numeric values. If I put in a minus value, you can see it appears with speech marks. And if I put in a zero, it appears as a dash with speech marks. So another scenario is where you don't want to put speech marks in the original values, but you want to create a copy that shows those values with speech marks around them. And to do this, we could use some concatenation. Concatenation basically means to join text strings together. Now to return a speech mark, you can use the character function. And if you type in 34, you'll see you get your speech mark. Now to concatenate that, I use the ampersand symbol and I want to concatenate with the value in B3. Then I need to concatenate Bob with another speech mark. So I put in my character 34 again and I get Bob with speech marks around him. And if I copy this down, you can see that all of the names now have speech marks. If I change a name, then it'll automatically update it in this new copy. Now, if I copy this across, you can see that although it works for the age, it doesn't work for date hired or for salary particularly well. The date appears as a number and every date has a serial number behind it. And this is the serial number for this date. If I copied this down, you'd see I get the serial number for the other dates. So we have to work a little bit harder with dates to do this, we can use the text function. What I'm doing is putting D3 within the text function. And what I can do is specify a format for the text function. And that format has to appear in quotation marks. And what I want to do is show it as a normal date. So DD slash MM slash three Ys. Close the bracket, press enter, and I get the date in date format rather than in numeric format. Now for salary, we do a similar thing that we did for date hired. We need to use the syntax for the format for salary values. And one way of getting that, by the way, is if you go into format sales, go to currency and then go to custom, that's the format you can use. Now I don't want the two decimal places, so I just select everything to the left of the two decimal places and copy. Cancel out of that. And then I can edit this formula, put E3 in the text function. After the E3 type a comma, and then in quotation marks, paste in my format, close the bracket for the text function. And now I have my salary figures within quotation marks. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.